This is Moses's. Um, uh, we call it the Tabernacle, Jehovah Rapha, and um, this one's a little bit small to see here. So we really encourage you to go out to the website and blow this one up. But um, this one he did in 1999 or completed it in 1999. And if you're familiar with the Moses' Tabernacle in the wilderness, again, if you haven't seen that, please go out and take a look at that video because it's exclusively uh, just about the tabernacle. But um, this one's really focused in on the brass serpent and that Moses uh, and Aaron raised uh, in the, the company and in, in uh, the wilderness as the fiery serpents were going out and they were uh, basically biting uh, the uh, the children of Israel and and they were dying and and the Lord gave them mercy in in instructions to Moses and Aaron to say look create this brass serpent put it up on a pole and those that come and look at it and the and the Bible says that they had to gaze upon it they couldn't just glance at it they had to connect their their vision or their eyes with the eyes of the serpent and if they did that they'd be made whole. So there's, as we all know, the tabernacle, there's so much symbolism in there yes. and typology and, and really prophecy of, of what was to come. And so this, um, this particular picture, if you, if you scroll or if you zoom in and you look all the way down into the bottom center, um, it's a little challenging to see, and, um, but knowing the story, I believe you'll be able to see the, the shadow but from the Shekinah glory, the Shekinah glory hits the snake. And then before the snake, Aaron is standing with his hands above his head with a rod. And the shadow hitting the snake and then hitting Aaron holding the rod. Um, or the shadow, excuse me, the light hitting the snake and then hitting Aaron holding the rod casts a shadow on the ground of Jesus on the cross foretelling that though they would look at him as Beelzebub, and though they would look at him as the deceiver, yet he would heal them. And this is a powerful message, and I, I would say possibly Dad's favorite. Yes. Would you say that? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And he also, the light around the cross depicts, he said, the Holy Spirit. And... Um, and thank God for the Holy Spirit that when Jesus ascended into heaven, we have the Holy Spirit and he can come upon us and um, lead us and guide us too, uh, day by day and comfort us. Amen. And thank God for that. Glory to God. No, that's, that's wonderful. And it's, uh, again, we hope these pictures will be a blessing to you. And the, the intent for these pictures are not just to be um, something pretty on your wall but they're, they're intended to open up a conversation. Many times people, they just don't know how to start a conversation about Jesus. And whether you have these in your home or your office or uh, place of business, if you're allowed to do that, inevitably people will come, especially at the tabernacles yes. and, and the others too, especially if they don't know the Lord, and say, what is this? And dad would frequently say, you can start wherever you want, especially with the tabernacle. <laughs> you start in Genesis, you can start in Revelations and work back. So we hope these will be a blessing to you. Please touch base with us on uh, our forms of social media. Uh, send us emails if you have any questions. But um, we are excited uh, to see these images get out there and these stories get out there to further the gospel and to expand the kingdom here on earth and uh, get in ready and anticipating Jesus's return. So we love you all. Be blessed. Thank you for joining us and we'll talk to you soon.